Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and this evening I'm going to talk about the first harmonic formulae. Now notoriously this has been one that we've noticed uh, through our own experience as well as talking to other examiners that this seems to be a bit of a sticking point. But it is a very simple formulae. Now this is on your data sheet and this is how it looks. This is the, the equation for the first harmonic. And this is talking about tension in strings. And you see this with string instruments, that you can alter, you can wind the guitar string at the top, or a cello, or a double bass, or whatever, and the noise that is being emitted changes. The frequency of this wave is changing, the pitch is changing. And this is a formula that represents this, and this is part one, actually one of the required practicals that you look at this formula. But I'm gonna go through and explain what this formula is. This letter F, is the frequency of the first harmonic. So if you calculated this wave here, which is the second harmonic, to be 220 hertz, so that's for the second harmonic, this means the frequency for the first harmonic is 110 hertz. So it's important that if you've calculated something for the third harmonic, you would divide it by three, etc., etc. Now, <clears throat> this letter L is the length of the wire. So it's the length of the string etc. This T is the tension or force you put on this wire. So that may be from winding it up and extending it, and that's using Hooke's law, or you literally might be getting a string and adding masses to it. If you are adding masses to it, please remember to times it by gravity to get the force. Now this letter mu seems to be a bugbear for people. This is a weird version of density. The formula for density is mass divided by volume. This is kind of like that. It's mass divided by the length. And the reason being for this is we're kind of looking about how the object moves along the wire. So this is a material property So it's a material property that won't change. So if you have a longer piece of string, the mass will go up accordingly. The only way that can change, of course, if you lose a lighter string. And you see this if you look at guitar, the strings are of different gauges, they're different thicknesses, and they all produce very different notes, even under the same tension. So, this is the equation here. So let's do a question. I'm going to use the information I gained from this one. So I found out the harmonic for the second harmonic was 220 hertz. Let's say my string has a mass of 20 grams, the length of the string is 1.2 meters, find the tension that gives the first harmonic. So, the formula F equals 1 over 2L square root of T over mu. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all put the numbers that I know. So I know the first harmonic is 110 hertz. So I'm going to have 110 equals 1 over 
2 times 1.2, which is 2.4, square root of t over, and this is where mu comes in. I like calculating mu on its own. So this is going to be 20 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 1.2. The reason I like calculating it on my own, on, on its own, is so it's just one number. I haven't got lots of formulae inside. The reason it's times 10 to the minus 3 is in grams, so I want it in kilos. And my answer is 0.017 kilograms per meter. Okay? So... 0.017 and now I'm going to rearrange so when you're dealing with square roots always 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 leave that bit to last so I'm going to get rid of all the stuff at the front so I've got divide by 2.4 I'm going to times it by 2.4 so 110 times by 2.4 equals square root t over 0.017 so 10 times 2.4 so 264 is the square root of t over 0.017 okay so I'm just going to go over to the other board now so I've got 264 is the square root of t over 0.017 to get rid of square root you square so 69696 is t over 0.017 and then t equals 69696 times 0.017 and that is 1184.8 newtons. If you were then asked, to, uh, asked about what mass this would produce, so 1184.8 newtons equals m times g. The mass is 1184.8 divided by 9.81, which equals 120.8 kilograms. So with this example, there's a lot of fiddly parts to it. And it's very important that if you have to space it out slowly, you space it out slowly. That I'm only doing one thing at a time. Now, some of you may be able to do it with one rearrangement. That's fine too. But if you are unsure that you're going to make a bit of mess up, make sure that mu is calculated outside on its own. And that when you're going through it, if you want to go slowly, go slowly. The examiner is not going to mark you down. In fact, you're, less, you're more likely to get more marks because you're showing you're working. And if you have made a little mistake in a calculation, it's not going to cost you in the long run. So this is this formula here. And it's really important that you can grasp, firstly, that this is the fundamental. This is the first harmonic. So if you calculated the second harmonic, you must then divide it by two to get the first harmonic. There'll be examples of exam questions involving this later on.